Uh, what's up everyone? Uh, another progress update video. A lot sooner than uh, I anticipated. Um, so let's get right into this. So there's a couple of things um, I want to kind of go over on this. I'll, I'll get the silly one out of the way. Um, and that being, I had animated the sidebar, but it wasn't animating this area here when this would move. All right. It would kind of snap into its new position or new side. So anyway, I did that, but that's, that's not the whole point of this video. That would be very sad. Um, okay. So um, I've created this test theme. I'm going to go into full screen. Um, so what are we going to demonstrate? That's a very good question. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add I'm going to add a grid. Add a dock, put the dock inside the grid. So it's a centered. I'm going to take a video, selected item video, and I'm going to turn the audio off. Sorry about that. Um, all right, I'm going to make it auto sized, centered. Uh, I'm going to keep it, I think I want it stretched still. All right, uh, I'm going to lock these and let's size this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right. Let's add a rectangle. And I've added two new properties to uh, rectangle right here, radius, radius X and Y. I may actually move these properties up to here. Um, I don't know why I put them here. Anyway, they're, they're there at the moment. I'll probably move them up. Um, oh, yeah. So let's make that 20. Make that 20. Uh, it's not very noticeable. Let's make it 50 and 50. That should be pretty good. That looks okay. Okay, and for rectangle and ellipse, I've added another property right at the top, defined as resource. Activate that. It disappears from view. It's now um, indicated in red on the um, elements list, the tree view, okay? And all its properties are gone except for the basics, with basically its size, and in the case of rectangle, um, the radius X and Y. Okay, that's it. Um, so now I'm going to go down to the grid that contains the selected item video, and I'll go down to Opacity Mask, and there's a new option, Resource. And we have one resource available called Rectangle 1. Okay. And there you go. Whoa. I'm going to rename this to Rounded Rectangle. And we go to the grid and it's renamed it here too. Okay. 
And let's just finish this off by adding a shadow. Let's just see how it looks. Looks all right to me. Let's have a look at some of the um, uh, let's have a look at some of the arcade ones. Yeah, it looks good. All right. So there was a point to this. I did say I was working on wheel items, and I'm still working on wheel items. But the more I thought about it, the more um, I was like, okay, today we currently use images to bend the, the, the shape or distort the shape of um, a given UI element, like a, a video, uh, like this example. Um, or an image, and I figured that would be a very expensive method if we were trying to apply that method to um, wheel items, okay? So that's why I came up with um, resources. Um, and the two primitives that I have are rectangle and ellipse. And before I leave this section and go into, you know, the, a, address wheel items, let me just add one more. So I'm going to add an ellipse. Um, I might as well make it uh, even, right? 922. Just actually, it doesn't really matter but, um, and it doesn't matter where I put it so that's irrelevant okay so now I can go to here and I can pick ellipse one okay and I've got it set to fill but um, I can make it uniform Yeah, pretty cool, huh? It's very quick, and it's not expensive on um, uh, for rendering and uh, memory usage. Um, so there you go. That's that's how we can uh, define resources and then reference them as opacity maps. I thought that would be um, very useful. All right, so that's how you can use it in views. More importantly, this is how you would go about using it for wheel items, okay? And because I haven't finished um, the wheel item uh, render logic, we'll, we'll use the next best thing, all right? Just to get my, um, my point across. And I use custom images, okay? So I'm gonna pick game. Let's pick... Um, What's got some good artwork? What's in here? Yeah, that's probably good enough. Um, all right, so custom game image one. So pretend I'm actually building a wheel item, okay? <laughs> the thing with custom images, it just builds a static image, all right? Wheel items are rendered on the fly. Uh, that's the difference, all right? But just all intents and purposes, let's just pretend we win. We're in uh, wheel items. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I do have an image. I don't want an ellipse. Do have an image to kind of start the ball rolling. 
Um, yeah, I put it in here. Silver ring. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take a look at the properties of this silver ring. This is probably not the best example out there, but you know it's kind of common. But again, it will allow me to um, get my point across. So it's saying the dimensions of the silver ring is one five zero six by seven five six. All right. So we'll just mimic that one five zero six. Seven five six. Is that what it? Is that what it said? One five zero six by seven five six. Okay. So that's our canvas. All right. And this is our silver ring. I'm going to make it full screen. There you go. Okay. So the canvas matches the uh, native size of this. PNG. All right. All right. This is where the fun begins. So I am going to define a rectangle. And, and then you'll understand why I've done what I've done. And because uh, there is a method to my madness most of the time. All right. Um, let's just make the um, make this a little bit of a different color. So just so I can see the edges like there, I can see where it, it uh, ends. All right. So now we'll use radius. That's almost dead on. <laughs> All right. I think that is, uh, I think that's good enough. All right. So I've got the, uh, the basic shape of the inside of the silver ring. All right. So I'm happy about that. So now I can say silver ring shape. And uh, I'm going to set that to a resource. Again, it disappears. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to add a grid. I'll make it full screen for now. I'm going to add a dock. Put the dock inside the grid. Center, center. Let's create an image. Put the image in the dock. Center, center. Um, you want the image to be auto sized. What else do we want? Metadata. Let's go with uh, either fan art. Uh, and actually make this uniform to fill. There you go. Um, do I want fan art or do I want screen gameplay? Screenshot. Gameplay. Okay. Then go to grid. Opacity mass resource. Silver ring. And what we'll do, we'll move the silver ring image above the um, background. And now I can change the, um, so what did I say this was, gameplay, yeah, gameplay um, is no longer full screen, I've switched that off, let me just lock 
these two entries. And now what I can do, I can um, just bring it in a tad. like that all right and then let's say i don't know i could use a black background that's fine maybe the gameplay is a bit too in your face let's make it 50 percent um And I want to do a similar trick. So I'm going to cheat. But I want the clear logo to be 100% um, opaque. So let's see. Uh, unlock these. I'm going to change the metadata image to game clear logo. Where are you? There you go. And we want it to be kind of within the boundary. So I'm going to relock and we're going to move it within. And you're going to have to, oh, I don't need, um, whoopsie, I don't need an opacity mask for uh, clear logo. My bad. There you go. Um, and you'll probably want to run this against different games because obviously all the clear logos are very, very different. So I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to align center just to see where we're at. Bring it here. Bring it here. And like so. And then effect. I'm going to say blurred dark outline. Something like that. And we can probably go maybe a little bit lighter on the background. So let's see what this looks like um, with other, yeah. The mistake I made was the clear logo should not be unified, uniform to fill should be uniform. There you go. Sorry about that. And it should still be, yep. Yeah. And like I said, you really need to kind of just go through some of your collection and make sure that the clear logos are fitting within where you would expect them to, to fit. So for example, Super Mario Galaxy, as you can see, it's, it's, it's exiting this boundary that we've kind of set, but that may be okay for you. You know, it's so subtle. <clears throat> um, let's try another. Let's try GameCube. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it doesn't look half bad. Yeah. Excellent! So, like I said, I know that this isn't Wheel Item Template, but the, the, um, the, the method is exactly the same. This is how you would construct your wheel items. And... Um, once you've constructed it, you go into your wheel and uh, 
in this case, I would pick, you know, custom game image one as the template and boom, all your uh, wheel items would now uh, resemble this template and um, all the images are rendered on the fly uh, based on your game collection and the metadata that you've uh, downloaded. So that's, that's why the uh, resource the use of uh, resources um, is extremely handy because you don't have this extra weight of um, PNGs, transparent PNG out, P PNGs out there that you're using to um, bend the shape of um, given images or videos. In this case, images. Okay, because then that way you can retain the original aspect ratio of the image, but you're making it conform to um, the shape that you want. So in this case, it's uh, you know more of a kind of an oblong. In my case, it's probably going to be more kind of circular, especially with um, uh, the, the plain and simple theme that I, I tend to use a lot when doing these kind of videos. But anyway, I hope this gives you an idea of you know, how the wheel item template is going to work. Um, and uh, some of the things that I've just added, I mean, literally one o'clock this morning, um, I finished with this particular build, um, how it will enable you to um, construct this relatively quickly. Uh, as you can see, it didn't take me that long at all. All right. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share where I'm at um with my uh progress and um i'll continue with uh wheel item templates and anything else that i think it requires <laughs> but for now i think i think this is certainly a good uh a good start and uh, a step in the right direction all right so that's it until the next video all right so take care everyone